all of this grows out of like these are valid tools of scientific expression and analysis, right? So sonification is actually a tool used in the sciences to work with data. It's used by scientists who are blind or low vision, but also by sight sighted scientists because you can just think, right? If you're a sighted scientist and you're looking at an image all the time and it's very familiar to you, you can almost become numb to it, right? The data is the data, but you can when introducing new senses or new experiences, new modalities, it can just like rewire your brain a little bit different, right? So something that you might have looked at a lot or felt familiar with, it can kind of like open a new window. And I love that, that possibility for additional exploration. Now, it's not an accident that you're working on a telescope that specializes in x-rays. None of those bands of light are visible to the human eye. But in principle, someone such as you could exist for every telescope that's out there. Because even for visual imagery that we all just take for granted that we can see color photos, right. people who are low vision or blind can't see them and that could still benefit from sonification, correct? Correct, yeah. So, I mean, Chander really has been the impetus for this for me because I started thinking very early on in the mission, this is all invisible data, right? Humans cannot naturally see x-rays. 